Overview Introduction Grainstorm has four tracks, which never stop to loop if active and a sound is loaded. While the track loops short snippets grains are extracted from the loaded sound and after an envelope is applied to them written to an output buffer. If read offset, which is the position from where the current grain is read, moves along the sound with the same velocity speed 1.0 as the velocity at which output is sent to digital to analog conversion and there are no gaps between successive grains the resulting sound is the same as the original sound. When the velocities are unequal speed unequal to 1.0 and overlapping grains are written to the output buffer, there are periodical phase interferences of the frequency components of the grains in the resulting sound with period determined by the density parameter. A large part of brainstorm and granular synthesis in general is about getting evolving spectra by modulation of parameters that affect the way how grains are read from the input sound, how they are written to the output buffer and how phases align when grains are overlapped. Most of these parameters can be modulated by LFO. Grainstorm has some effects that manipulate individual grains, both in the time and spectral domain. The spectral domain effects are known as phase vocoder and cross synthesis effects. Cross synthesis blends two sounds into one hybrid sound. Application structure The four tracks each have three LFOs and three envelope followers. It is possible to synchronize the loop durations of all tracks and LFOs. Each track has three effect cues, one for the grain by grain two, one for the mono six and one for the stereo effects seven. Each effect is appended to the corresponding cue when activated. The last activated effect will be the last one to be processed. Here is what happens when a track computes sound. One read the grain, apply pre-gain, pass it through grain by grain effects, phase vocoder if active, cross synthesis if active, apply grain envelope, write grain to output buffer, do the same with next grain until no more grains are to be processed. Two mono effects on output buffer. Three stereo effects on output buffer. Apply post gain. Note. Stereo effects have been separate from the mono effects for performance reasons. Interface. Interface. Navigation. Navigation. The four tracks can be accessed by the upper horizontal buttons, numbered 1 to 4. Track specific synthesis parameters are accessed by the vertical buttons numbered 1 to 7 inside the track. 
They are arranged in sections in the order by which the tracks read parameters when computing sound. Sections have subsections which can be browsed by the arrows or entered directly by tapping the text inside the arrows. Back. Granulation. Foru. Sections and subsections TRACK1. Wave form. Granulation 1 PV ENV LFA Followers FX Stereo General Controls Power Button Power button located outside the track in the upper right corner turns audio engine on off. Settings button. General settings. Short double tap on rotary controls and sliders reset their current value to its initial state. Tap on the title of a control opens an input field. Short double tap on waveform changes the loop mode. Waveform can be pinch zoomed. Track and LFO specific controls. Eject button. Opens the Android file picker to load a sound. Decoding can be interrupted by pressing the back button on your device. Mic button. Starts and stops microphone recording. Sync button. Activates or deactivates syncing on the specific track, LFO, or delay. Back. Two for you. Sync factor. Settings button. Some track specific settings are accessed by the settings button located inside the track. Power button activates deactivates track or LFO. Skip back jumps to loop start. Stop button sets playback speed to zero. Stops looping. Play button. Sets playback speed to its last positive value. Starts looping. Skip forward. Jumps to loop end. Reverend reverses loop direction. Slow. Slows down time sync factor. Fast. Speeds up time sync factor. Fast. Sync. Loop modes. Loop mode is changed by a short double tap on the waveform. Three loop modes are available. When the offset position marker has blue color, Red offset is set to the beginning of the loop if it passes the end of the loop. If it passes the beginning of the loop, it is set to the end of the loop. 
When it is orange colored looping is in ping pong mode and the playback direction is reversed when red offset passes either of the loop boundaries. Additionally the read direction of the sound data is reversed. When it is green colored looping is in ping pong mode but the read direction is not reversed when read offset passes loop boundaries. The second mode gives smoother loops when random read or write offset is inactive and playback speed is 1.0 while the third mode gives smoother loops when it is active. When tape mode is active and looping is in the third mode green colored loop endpoints bidirectional looping is done. Syncing Fast Sync Sync button Activates or deactivates syncing on the specific track LFO or delay back to for sync factor sync modifies playback speed LFO rate or delay of all tracks LFOs and delays with syncing enabled such that their loop durations match the loop duration of the calling track, LFO, or delay. If the resulting playback speed, LFO rate, or delay would be too small or too large, it is multiplied or divided by the sync factor of the calling track, LFO or delay until it is in the APPR opiate range. If stop, play, bell down, bell up, skip, rev is pressed on a track, LFO or delay that has syncing enabled, the same event is sent to all tracks, LFOs and delays that have syncing enabled. Sharing of sound input between tracks per default each track routes to itself what has been imported from a sound file or recorded. Inside the track settings the input routing can be changed. Density, speed, and loop positions are shared, while all other parameters and the effects can be independently adjusted for each track that operate on the same sound. This may be useful for processing different parts of the spectrum individually, by low-pass filtering the signal on one track and high-pass filtering it on another track for example or for layering different pitches. Synthesis Parameters The following descriptions are in the order in which synthesis parameters appear in the UI from top to bottom for the main sections and left to right for the subsections. The UI is arranged in the order in which parameters are read by the tracks for sound synthesis. Granulation 1 Grain size determines the size of the grain. Range 5 milliseconds to 1. Density the rate at which new grains are triggered in Hertz range 1 to 500 Hertz ENV cycles means envelope cycles. 
determines how often the wave table containing the grain envelope is iterated through when the envelope is applied to the grain. RND read adds a random offset to the current read position inside the sampled sound. Deviation adds randomness to grain triggering. Both cancel the periodicity of phase interferences of overlapping grains in the output buffer. The trade-off is introduction of noise. Pitch changes the overall pitch of the resulting sound by simple resampling of individual grains. For a pitch increase of one octave the grain is read from twice the samples as its grain size, with every second sample skipped. Grains Silence to skip grains Note, when the app is in stereo mode all randomized granulation parameters give a stereo effect because of different randomized values on each channel. Granulation 2 Band limited envelope A band limited grain envelope is computed. Please also see 3.6 Envelopes Envelope only no input The grain is not filled with samples and only consists of the grain envelope. Please also see 3.6 Envelopes Integer end cycles stands for integer envelope cycles. If deactivated only fractions of the grain envelope may be applied. The UI shows a rounded value, but the real value of EMB cycles may be a fraction. Deactivation distorts the sound, but may be interesting when ENB cycles is LFO modulated. Sola stands for Waveform Similarity Overlap Add. A time stretching algorithm that computes the read position of the grain such that it best matches the grain that would have been read at original speed 1.0. Try different grain sizes densities at speed down to 0.25 equals 4x stretch factor. Grain Sequencing Granulation 2 also includes the controls for a simple sequencer which is exposed in Granulation 3. It can be used to build sequences of grains each with individual pitch grain size gain. Steps determines the length of the sequence. Bell up down are rooted to density, which is multiplied or divided by sync factor, such that grains are triggered at a higher or lower rate, which makes the sequence run faster or slower. On receiving the sync event density is modified so that the duration of the sequence matches the loop duration of the calling unit and vice versa. Note, use the slider at the bottom of granulation 3 to scroll the screen. Random pitch adds a random offset to the, the current pitch. As an example, when semitones is set to 6, 
min to minus 1 and max to 1. Pitch of the current grain is randomly chosen to be one tritone below the current pitch. The current pitch and one tritone above the current pitch.